Alicia aka Rhapsody. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you. Uh, it's been a month or two since my last haul and I've got a whole bunch of new goodies to show you. Um, basically this is everything I've purchased since my last haul. So these, this would be purchases through the months of October and November. Uh, so I want to start by showing you what I got from Sephora over the past few months. Beginning with of course, I had to pick up the metal matte uh, palette from Kat Von D. It's a limited edition palette, of course, with uh, I believe nine um, metallic shades and 13 matte shades. And it was, sorry, I don't mean to blind you here. Uh, this one was kind of a no-brainer for me. I had been um, saving uh, some of my birthday money, uh, I set it to the side in preparation for when it was released and and oddly enough um, the metal matte palette and I have not yet um, become friends. I have tried a few looks and they just didn't do exactly what I wanted. I'm not sure uh, if I just picked shades that don't blend so well together or what but I'm, key I'm continuing to work with her and um, I will be doing a review shortly. It's way late, I know, but um, I just wanted to, I wanted to be uh, very familiar with the palette and and have some successful looks to show you before I got around to doing it. So I'm not going to swatch it here because I will swatch it in that video, which I need to do really soon. Also from Sephora, I picked up some some green tea exfoliating wipes. Typically I use Neutrogena, but these are $7.50 at Sephora, which is like the most reasonably priced thing at Sephora ever, and they smell fantastic. They don't work quite as well as the Neutrogena wipes I'm used to, but almost as well, and they smell so much better. So um, these are exfoliating, so one side is a, kind of a physical exfoliator. It's bumpy, and you can use it um, gently on... <laughs> on areas that need some exfoliation. The other side just works like a regular makeup wipe and takes stuff off while smelling fantastic. And also from Sephora, I picked up some more of Kat Von D's uh, Locket Concealer. This is in the shade L1. If you were wondering what kind of crazy person gets a shade that light, it's me. You really can't tell because I use it under my foundation. Um, but this is, I don't know, just the shade I use. and. I was out, so I got more. And finally, an item I think I forgot to mention in the last haul, I also picked up from Sephora the First Aid Beauty First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair uh, Hydrating Serum. This is a moisturizer for people who don't really like moisturizers. It is not at all greasy or like lotion. I had a smaller size of this I'd gotten for free, and when I ran out, I the bullet and bought this even though it was like 36 bucks or something insane like that and you can see it's completely clear and just your skin just drinks it up it soaks right in and leaves no greasiness behind so my poor rapidly aging and wrinkling skin um will thank me, I'm sure, for that purchase. That's uh, all of the stuff I have from Sephora in this haul. Additionally, I picked up a couple of new shadows from Luxie Beauty, uh, which is uh, an, an indie brand that is really popular on Instagram. Um, you can purchase their stuff online. And they had, Luxie Beauty had just come out with a matte collection, so I picked up so this is, these are all my looks and beauty shades. I picked up, of course, a lime green and, um, and a surprisingly for me, um, versatile brown, this is called Graham Cracker, from their matte line along with, right, so my camera died and now I'm back and um, I, I threw some of Sugar Pills Tierra over the lipstick I had on if you're curious. And I'm sorry if I had lipstick all over my teeth in the previous portion of this video. But I'm going to continue. And I think I was talking about the Luxie Beauty uh, eyeshadows and highlighters that I picked up. 
So I did pick up two of two of their new mats. This is graham cracker, which is a brown, but it is incredibly uh, useful and versatile. I use it a lot for uh, my crease and blending things out. And the other mat I picked up is green apple. Of course I had to get this green. I really I've used this one a couple of times. I really should use it more often. Um, it, it is a very pleasing uh, kind of sour Granny Smith apple sort of uh, green. And the other eyeshadow I picked up was Nirvana. This is one of those pretty blue browns that um, I kind of started to collect. I just can't resist them. And the two highlighters I picked up from Luxie Beauty were Celestial. And those eyeshadows, I believe, were $5 a piece for the pans. The, it, um, the highlighters for just the pans are $7.50, which is quite a good deal for a highlighter. This is Celestial. Putting it here next to the eyeshadows and kind of warm gold. Um, this one is really not the um, typical sort of thing that I pay, buy when it comes to highlighters. I'm not sure what my thought process was for picking it up, but it is pretty. It's just not the kind of thing I grab frequently. And finally, Wicked was the other highlighter I grabbed. And this is very similar to a whole bunch of other highlighters I have. The interesting thing about this, it's kind of ethereal and glowy, let's see if you can catch it there, um, is that it's, I don't know, mo both blue and purple, kind of a, a blue-violet, which um, definitely has a ghostly feel to it. I, I need to get more use out of this one. So those were the items that I picked up from Luxie Beauty. Now's as good now's as good a time as any to also point out that um, one of my Etsy purchases was was yet another uh, palette from Glam Tech. Like Glam Tech it does custom made uh, palettes similar to Z palettes, except they're much more sturdy. They're made from like all plastic and metal, and they and they don't fall apart like a cardboard Z palette would. And um, I think this size is $24. The smaller sizes, I picked this one up and showed it in my last haul, or 18, I think this was 24. So at any rate, I did pick up this new um, spider web design just because uh, I needed another palette and um, it was one of the one of the preset designs you could choose um, that kind of appealed to me. Uh, from Etsy I also picked up um, a couple other things. I picked up two highlighters that were special for Halloween from Beauty Escape. Beauty Escape Cosmetics. Uh, this one is called Christmas Town. Um, and the other one is Sandy Claus. And I couldn't resist uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas themed uh, cosmetics. I have to say though, they, um, they fell a little short for me once they arrived. There's nothing really wrong with them, but both of them arrived in just this was the only um, packaging within the mailer. And it was just kind of, lucky that they both arrived unscathed, so I wasn't terribly impressed with the packaging, and I'm going to swatch them for you. This is Christmas Town. It is 
white with a red um, glow to it. comes off on camera. And the other one's Sandy Claws. And this is almost like a, a kind of blue-brown um, highlighter with a blue-brown shift. It uh, will probably function better as an eyeshadow, but it's not terribly pigmented for an eyeshadow. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to use it. Overall, I just, there's nothing wrong with these. I just, I have similar stuff that um, is more pigmented. In fact, uh, Baby Bat Beauty's uh, Dragonfly is uh, a more intense, um, impressive version of this. So that and the fact that there's nothing other than a name that really makes these in any way Nightmare Before Christmassy. Just eh. The one other item from Etsy I picked up was a liquid lipstick from Lonely Planet Cosmetics, but I will talk about this in just a moment. Right, I wanted to tell you about um, what I picked up from BH Cosmetics. I placed an order with BH Cosmetics. Um, BH Cosmetics is a very affordable brand and they um, are always running some sort of deal sale. Uh, I placed my order around Halloween and so the the deal that I got was uh, with a $25 order I got free shipping and a free palette which was really hard to pass up. What I ordered was the Supernova palette which I do have, um, which I have already done a video about and I'll link that down below in case you're interested. And the Foil Eyes palette which are all uh, metallic eyeshadows kind of like uh, Makeup Geeks foiled shadows, and I have also already um, done a video about this one, and I'll link th this down below as well in case you're interested. Um, both of these I think were $12 a piece. And then to get me over the $25 hump, I got one of BH Cosmetics uh, metallic liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade Lucinda metallic purple. I am wearing it in I think at least one of um, one of my previous videos. It wore evenly um, and well and lasted quite a while. Um, my, my only minor uh, complaint would be that it's not all that metallic but it's nice. I think this was eight dollars. Uh, right now, I think with Black Friday, it's on sale for five. Um, but I mean, the the range is always, you know, very very inexpensive for what the products are. And so, with that, I achieved my with those three items, I achieved my free shipping and I got a free palette with the deal. And that palette was the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies palette looks like this and um, I just filmed a review and tutorial for it so um, please check that out as soon as I upload it which would be soon. And this is um, the palette that I used on my eyes today. Alright, um, just to finish up with eyeshadows, My Pretty Zombie which is an indie makeup brand that I really enjoy uh, had a a limited edition, very limited, one day only um, eyeshadow available only on Halloween that I picked up. This is called He's in the Pantry. Their full size eyeshadows are five dollars. This is a pretty um, kind of soft purple with a shift. And then other than that, I've just been kind of um, obsessed with liquid lipsticks in the past couple months, particularly trying to find the perfect gray. 
first, uh, Firene, which is one of my all-time favorite indie makeup brands, uh, re-released its longtime favorite uh, liquid lipstick shade, Wizardry. This is Wizardry 2 in the new formula, the, the whipped metallic uh, formula. And so I picked this up. This is a duochrome liquid lipstick. Purple with a almost blue shift. And these go for $9.75. And then um, I spent way too much time on Instagram and I was looking at all these photos of liquid lipsticks and, and just, you know, gnashing my teeth with desire and so I went ahead and purchased Makeup Monsters. Uh, this is Wolfbane. As I said, I've been obsessed with grays. I was thinking about Jeffree Star's Scorpio, which is, you know, kind of gray with a purple underto undertone. And um, So I picked this up. This is kind of a mauve gray. And honestly, it's probably a little too warm for my skin tone. I probably should have picked up, I forget the name of, of their more gray shade, um, maybe Grim, I think it is, maybe, yeah, Grim. Probably should have picked up Grim. Um, at any rate, um, with a lip liner, it works though, and I do like it. Um, I had previously purchased, uh, like a year ago, G.I. Jane from Makeup Monsters and really loved it and wound up having to throw it out because the packaging leaked. It just got all sticky and made everything it sat next to sticky. And So um, I'm hoping that that, um, that was a one-time thing and I'm giving them another shot. In the same vein as the Makeup Monsters liquid lipstick, um, I have been wanting forever to try Pretty Zombie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and so I went ahead and picked one up. This is Tombstone. I thought it was going to be the perfect gray. It's really a lot darker on me than I expected. I probably should have gotten Graveyard which is their lighter shade. All lipsticks look darker on me than they do on everybody else. I don't know why. It is um the uh, part of what I'm wearing today, it's the very outer shade of the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing, but I have um, an ombre going on and then I have sugar pills, uh, tiara, eyeshadow on top, so you can't really tell. So then, by chance, I kind of found the, the gray I was looking for, and at this point, honestly, I, I don't know, I have at least 20 gray lipsticks, all told, I really need to do a new my gray lipsticks video sometime soon but <clears throat> I ran across a picture of this one this is Jordana Cosmetics these are like five dollar liquid lipsticks um, and this was a special edition for Halloween this is called Zombie Queen which I mean the name in and of itself would make me want it and right now I just had to um, wipe off some smearage from uh, Tombstone these aren't terribly smudge proof, the, the pretty zombie cosmetics ones. That is not the case for the $5 Jordana cosmetic lipsticks. This wonderful deathly gray right here. It's the inner part of my ombre, which again, you, you can't really tell because I have uh, tiara over it. <coughs> but this is a, a kind of the shade I, w I was looking for. Not that, I mean, I have, I have Smashbox's children, and so I have the perfect gray anyway. I just, I can't stop. Uh, one thing of note, though, these dry and um, dry down and are kiss-proof, smudge-proof, smudge-proof, and last, like, forever, but um, they do have a very strong kind of chemically sweet smell. So if, if you care about that sort of thing, be aware. So, and then the final two, getting to the end, final two liquid lipsticks that are part of this haul. I finally got my hands on Sugar Pills Trinket, and I'm going to do a separate video on Trinket and this liquid lipstick from Lonely Planet. But I'll go ahead and give you a swatch here. If I had 
any room on my hand. Trinket, um, of course, is in kind of an orangey mauve, but as it dries, it gets more and more glittery gold. Um, and I was obsessed and had to have it, and um, I will be doing a full video on it, but this is the swatch. And in that vein, um, Lonely Planet, which is an Etsy brand, um, they have they have their own kind of dupe for trinket but they also this is foxy that I got from them which is sort of like a kimchi dupe kimchi is sugar pills other um, permanent liquid lipstick and this is kind of a lavender with gold sparkle to it a very unusual shade. This formula is very dry. Um, when, when I say dry, I don't mean dry when it goes on. It, it feels kind of moussey on the lips, but um, getting it out of the tube, it's not at all liquidy. It, but you can see that the, uh, the sparkle is very prominent right from the start with that one. So I'll talk more, more about trinket and kimchi dupes and whatnot in another video. But that, and those are all of my liquid lipsticks that I picked up and I thank you for watching this ridiculously long haul video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my goodies and, and until next time, please have a wonderful day. Bye bye.